One of my favorite guests, Dan Smith, Friends of Mountain Rescue. I love all the stories he brings <laughs> and all of his little things he brings with him. And Dan has brought a goodie bag today. So let's talk backcountry because okay. everyone is still going to go out and explore the oh, mountains. Yes. But uh, uh, we were talking about some of the must-have things that you really should have with you. So tell me what's in the well, goodie bag. Whether you're on a snow machine or on skis or on snowshoes, things can happen. You can break a binding on your snowshoe. Uh, you can break a binding on your ski. You can break your ski. You know, in the old days, with tellies, uh, people would carry a spare ski tip, just in case. Wow. Uh, the, if you look at your shovel that you should be carrying with you, there are two holes in the shovel. The two holes match up with two holes on telly skis. You tie it together, you make a sled. Wow. There's all sorts of, of little tools. But if you go out and everything's fine, you'll have a wonderful trip. If you suddenly decide you want to ski from Vale to Red Cliff or Snow Machine up Lime Creek Road, Shrine Pass Road, and something goes wrong, then it's not real good. And you can be out there 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. If, it's, uh, if you're out there at night in this weather, what's the temperature this morning? Three degrees here. Do you want to take a guess at what it was in Lime Creek last night? It was oh, probably very, very cold. There's some things you need to stay alive. Now, this is a bag we've prepared for over the years. And most survival kits that you find have snare wire and, and signaling mirrors and things like that. This doesn't. This has the stuff to get you comfortable for 24 hours till we can come get you. One of the things that's kind of most people don't really understand in here is this. As soon as I get the duct tape off it. These are in your garage. Those are two 30-gallon lawn and leaf trash bags. Okay. Now, why would you possibly want those in the snow? Um, well, you know, I can say early years, whenever I was a kid, my mom used to put wonder, uh, wonder bags on my feet and then put them into my snow boots. Yep, that's, so I could see how that, that's could, one way. that could keep you dry, you know, as something well, to sit on or... Well, the sit on is a good thing because where you're going, if you're standing around, you're going to get tired. You're going to want to sit down. You pull pine branches off pine trees, stuff them in one of these. You now have standoff distance from the ground oh. and you're fine. If it's, you know, in the summer, if it's raining, they make excellent sleeping bags, they make excellent rain suits, uh, they make a lot of things. So there's not much you can't really do with two 30-gallon lawn leaf trash bags. Turkey foil. Turkey foil is the foil that you have to roast that turkey, and it's the heavy-duty stuff. This turkey foil does many things. If you get a fire going, you put this behind the fire, and all the heat re reflects on you. Wow. So that's just, this will triple the efficiency of your fire. If you are in a prolonged situation and you're trying to flash an aircraft, guess what this does? This works for a very nice mirror. Uh, ubiquitous 10 yards of duct tape. You break your snowshoe binding. You break your ski binding. You can literally tape your ski boot to your skis. I don't recommend it. It has a lot of problems. But as opposed to staying out all night, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you can patch jackets. Uh, when these jackets blow out because you fell and hit a tree, all the, the uh, insulating properties go with them because all the filling goes with them. Duct tape. The most expensive thing in the bag. This is a space blanket. Mylar, reflective on one side, waterproof on the other. You wrap it around yourself, your body heat is now reflected into you. Uh, it also makes a very quick rain shelter. This is the most expensive thing in the bag. Wow. This one is refoldable. So far, everything you've got in your garage. This one is refoldable. It's about uh, eight bucks. The non-refoldable ones, the ones that you, when they're the size of your fist, you open them up, you're never going to get them folded again. They're about four bucks, but they work. This works multiple times. Dan, let's uh, let's take a quick break, um, and then we'll see the rest of these goodies whenever we come back. Good. We're going to check in with this weather coming up next.